Creating and analyzing an RC circuit with unit step input using Tina Cloud. In this tutorial, we will create and test an RC integrator circuit with a unit step input. Log in to Tina Cloud. First, create the file for the video using the Save As command. Note that the program automatically saves the changes into this file while you are editing. It will be saved into the My Circuits folder on the server under your account. First, place the resistor component of the integrator. Move the cursor over the resistor icon on the component toolbar and click the left button of the mouse. Now the resistor symbol is attached to the cursor and may be moved anywhere on the screen simply by moving the mouse. By clicking the left button again, place the resistor. Now the resistor is placed with a default value of 1K, meaning 1 kilo ohms. The default value can easily be changed by double-clicking the resistor. The Properties window appears. In the resistance line, change the value to 2K, then press OK to confirm the change. Now add the capacitor to the circuit. Note that the capacitor should be rotated by 90 degrees. Click first the capacitor icon on the toolbar. The symbol will be attached to your cursor. Next, click the rotate left or rotate right icon and then move the symbol to the desired location. Place it by clicking the left mouse button. Note that the components may also be rotated after they are placed. Click the component to be selected then use the Rotate Left or Rotate Right icon. Next, add the generator to the circuit to test the integrator. To see the default waveform, double-click the generator. The Properties dialog appears. The default setting is a unit step, and its voltage is 1 volt. It will jump from 0 to 1 at the beginning of the simulation, T equals 0. Accept these settings and close the dialogs. Now connect the components of the circuit. Note that Tina Cloud has an advanced wiring tool that automatically inserts the components into the wire. Now you still need to add a few components to the circuit. Add the ground, then select the voltage pin from the meter's toolbar. The circuit is now complete. You can test it. First, make a transient analysis. Select Transient from the Analysis menu. The Transient dialog box appears. Change the End Display parameter to 10M, meaning 10 milliseconds, and press Run. The result of the transient analysis appears in the diagram window. Note that all analysis results are stored in the diagram window, which may be viewed at any time by selecting Diagram Window from the Tools menu. Now close the Diagram Window and conduct an AC analysis of the circuit. Click Again Analysis on the main menu, select AC Analysis, then AC Transfer Characteristic. The AC Transfer Characteristic dialog box appears. Change the default end frequency to 10K and press Run. The diagram window appears, showing the amplitude of the transfer function, the gain of the circuit measured in decibels dB. By clicking the tabs at the bottom of the diagram window, you can also view the phase, Nyquist, group delay, and complete Bode diagrams. You can also see the result of the previous transient analysis by clicking the Transient 1 tab. From the File menu of the Diagram window, you can export the diagrams to other programs in various formats. The Diagram window offers numerous other options, including adding labels, cursors, changing curve width, color, and more.
can also add diagrams to the schematics and store them together. This is a great way to document your design. Close the diagram window. Note that it remains available in the program. Select Insert Diagram from the Insert menu denoted by a green plus sign. Then, in the Insert Diagram dialog, select Transient 1 from the list. You can also resize the diagram if you want. Press the Insert button. The diagram will appear attached to your cursor. Position it, and then add it to the circuit diagram by pressing the left button of the mouse. Use the Zoom Out command to make more place. Add the title by using the Insert Text T icon. Edit properties of the text by clicking the Properties button. When you finish editing, press OK. The title text will appear attached to your cursor. Move it to the middle at the top of the screen and place it by clicking the left mouse button. This concludes the RC Integrator Circuit tutorial. For more information, visit our website, www.tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash user slash Tina Design Suite.